with me here in the studio, Ron Bonjean. He's a former spokesperson for the Republican congressional leadership, and Stephanie Brown James, former Obama White House official and co-founder of uh, the collective. Thank you very much for being with us, uh, Ron Bonjean. Can we start in the context of what Matthew's been telling us about Kherson in Ukraine? Because people around the world want to know why these midterms are relevant, and they're relevant because they relate to the spending that Joe Biden has already pledged for Ukraine. Where does that stand if the Republicans take the House? Yes, yeah, so when Republicans take the House, they're going to want to see a plan from the Pentagon on where all the spending is going. We have spent billions of dollars um, helping the Ukrainians beat back the Russians, and I think they just want to see, you know, what the blueprint is. Um, they are, there are those in the Republican ranks that are skeptical of all this money being spent over there instead of in the United States. And, and that's reasonable. But I think with the plan, there'll be more that'll go along with it. But I imagine, Stephanie, the Democratic argument would be, look at what's happening. Look at the missiles that we're providing, the longer, longer range artillery, which is making a difference in this war. We have the Russians on the back foot. We need to keep spending. Yeah, absolutely. And if anything, you know, uh, many Americans want to make sure that we can help the Ukrainians uh, pr protect themselves, protect as many lives. There's already been so many lives that have been lost. And for us to retreat at this moment and cut back our spending um, does not seem like it would help the matter at all. And so what happens in Congress is definitely going to be a, a huge piece of how we play um, on this stage as well. Just one of the many, many issues that will form part of the debate in the days ahead.